Suppose a young male boxer who barks and feels uncomfortable while on leash when he sees other dogs. Here I'm reinforcing him remaining at my side. Every time he loses focus and begins to look ahead or move ahead of me, I regain his attention and maneuver him so that he again is in proper heel position. When teaching the loose leash heel, if Bo moves out of position, it's my responsibility to reposition myself so that Bo remains in the heel position. As we enter a small park area, I give Bo a job to do. He knows a few behaviors. One is called spread them, and the other is called place. By performing these behaviors, he is focused and fully engaged with me as his handler. It's really important at this point that I reward him frequently. I use a fence to help keep Bo in a proper heel. You can also find a fence or a building to reinforce the position of a heel. There are two dogs approaching and I allow Bo to catch a glimpse to see if he will remain focused on me. Bo is okay until the dogs begin to get excited, and you can see that he begins to react. I remain calm, act like a post, and really reward him when he sits by my side and remains quiet. It's really important right now that I begin to give him work to accomplish. I keep it fast-paced and reward often. I keep Bo by my side. If he moves ahead, stop and change directions. I maneuver his body so he remains in proper heel position and reward him when he does. Keep the training unpredictable by changing direction and pace. This will keep the walk exciting and engaging for him. As you continue to work with your dog, you will find that his reactivity will diminish, as well as the need to deliver rewards will become less frequent. And finally, keep investing time and positive energy with your dog, and soon he will become a true teacher's